As a Lumen Circles Fellow, you are part of a community of practice. Communities of practice are formed by people who engage in a process of collective learning and a shared experience. It's a tribe of people who share a concern or a passion for something they do and learn how to do it better as they interact regularly. That's the essence of the Lumen Circles experience. In your community of practice, you will give and receive feedback on teaching practices, provide support and encouragement to your peers, and engage in idea generation and brainstorming. It was really interesting for me. Um, I'm in the paralegal program and there were actually a lot of people from a maritime school in Maine, I think, or Massachusetts. Um, but it was interesting that we had the same issues, like different schools, different students, different types of um, programs, but we had the same issues. And so it was like really nice to be able to just communicate with people and just think like, oh, it's not just me. Oh, it's not just my students. You know, like it was just really nice to have that um, community. We were in a group of math people using the same platform and at different levels of expertise, but we were working towards improving our teaching instruction, connection with students, keeping engagement going, success, uh, things like that. So I already wanted to do something for my professional development, but I also found it extremely helpful to work with other faculty. As you and your peers post reflections and plans, you will offer each other insights, feedback, and support using an appreciative inquiry approach, which focuses on raising questions for deeper inquiry. The appreciative inquiry mindset encourages you to investigate your own and others' teaching practice, and it can start by simply asking questions such as, what's working well in this lesson or approach? What's good about what you're currently doing? When you want to move forward and create change, Ask questions that help your peers see new possibilities. So you may ask, what would it take to create change in this teaching experience? What innovation could you try in the future with these students or for this learning objective? Remember, appreciative inquiry is a strength-based approach where we focus on what's working, allowing for reflection and conversation around ideas that are working well. It really um, encouraged me and really made me take a look at my teaching to say, and and to be able to put a name to what I do, especially with those all those tags and everything. Um, it seemed for me very intimidating at first to look at like all like the 20 or whatever tags. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna have to use those. Um, but it was really easy and it was a, a good way because I feel like sometimes we don't know how to talk about these things. Well, I'm good at this, you know, and then recognizing what I was doing well at helped me to see the other areas where I could increase. I was always looking for positive moments for, for each faculty member and saying, wow, this is fascinating. And, and to the point where it's like, I want to be in that person's classroom. I'm in the biological sciences and with switching to remote learning this semester, we had a massive problem with lab classes um, because doing a lab virtually is very challenging. So for me personally, I was teaching um, a lab and it's what I wrote about a lot during uh, my circle fellowship, getting feedback from other faculty, especially my circle seemed to have a lot of people in STEM fields about sort of different techniques that they were using to make labs as authentic experiences as possible, um, from sending students home with take home kits to virtual resources, um, different OER resources was really helpful and it honestly completely changed how my course went this semester. It went way better than I was expecting, um, you know, beyond my expectations. Now that you have had an opportunity to peek inside the Lumen Circle virtual learning community, you are ready to hone your expertise as a student-centered teacher in your Lumen Circle. Good luck.